Doctors' offices and hospital beds have become the norm for Joseph Martin. So much so that the Waynesboro teen measures his time spent there in years. But I learned that when Joseph is not awaiting the next surgery, you might find him carving up the mountain like few you've seen before. <laughs> Go, you're open. All right. I mean, I was just really, really nervous, but really excited and happy to be able to go out the very first time. Because sometimes you get double looks, sometimes you get a, a few laughs, and then you just, um, as you're doing it, some people are actually impressed. 18 year old Joseph Martin has been in and out of the hospital all of his life. The days total to around three and a half years for him, life has been one surgery after another. The first few years of his life, it was, it was a really a matter of putting him back together. Martin was born with cloacal extrophy, a birth defect found in about one out of every 400,000 babies every year. It leaves internal organs exposed outside of the body. No one had a name for his birth defect. It took several hours before we really knew exactly what was going on and whether he was going to survive. I wasn't afraid. It seems like a funny thing to say, but I just had this peace that it, would, it was going to be all right. Joseph's first surgery came at four days old, 56 operations later. He's finally reached a point in his life where the next one isn't scheduled, and he's using his newfound spare time to enjoy one of his favorite sports. Sitting down while skiing was a whole different thing to get used to in terms of pressure you have to put on the outriggers, the way you lean and move your core. Joseph first hit the slopes when he was eight. He uses a ski called a monoski to navigate the mountain. You can just forget about everything. It's great. Several back conditions left him in a wheelchair when he was seven. It's something he struggled with as he's aged. I think that when he was a little boy, it was a lot easier for him. And you know, all teenagers hit a point where they're very self-conscious about their appearance and about how they're different. I mean, I watched it with both the girls. There was a point when Joseph stopped swimming because he was very aware that his body was different in a way that he wasn't when he was seven or eight. Therapeutic Adventures, a Charlottesville-based nonprofit, has helped him and many others experience the snow in ways they never could have imagined. Adaptive sports are a great outlet on so many levels, not only the physical level, but just emotionally to be able to compete and push yourself and, and you know, just learn what, what you can do. It's, it's real important and adaptive sports, you know, provide that opportunity. While many people use activities like skiing to escape their stresses, perhaps Joseph uses it to escape more. Because when attached to that single blade, Joseph can do anything everyone on the mountain can. I think it's given him more confidence in what he can do with his body. I mean, it's, it, he loves that sense of speed and being able to, to compete in something that isn't, um, that isn't limited by the fact that he can't walk. Well, thanks to the Martin family for sharing their story. Now, this week in Mass Nutton will host its annual adaptive downhill race called the Independence Cup, named after the independence people similar in similar situations learned through skiing. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Yep. Wow, very impressive. Wow, thank you, Andrew. Very inspirational.